Hi, in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I will show you three ways you can put text on an image. At the end of the tutorial, I'll also show you how to connect the text to the image to create one complete element. This will enable you to move it and resize it as one image. So the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly turn my page round. I'm going up to the layout tab up here, go across to the orientation icon, click on the drop down and click landscape. And then I'm just going to simply insert the image of my choice, click insert, go along to picture, click on the drop down and select picture from file. I'm just going to select my picture and click insert. Now when you normally insert a picture, you'll find that when you try to move it around, it won't move. It just keeps bouncing back to its original position. All you need to do is to go up to picture format, go along to the wrap text icon, click on the drop down and click in front of text. Once you've done that, you can move your image around any way you like in your document. I'm just going to reduce the size of my image so I can put three on the page. I'm going to click Command or Control C, Command or Control V, and then just move my images along. Then I'm just going to align them. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing it for the demonstration. Okay, so the first way that you can insert some text on this image here would be to go up to the insert tab and along to this word art icon here click on the drop down and just select any of these options insert your text and then you can go ahead and customize this in any way you see fit make sure you're inside this box here if you're just clicked onto the box here, your cursor will be across. In order to edit whatever's inside the box, you have to double click and ensure you have a cursor visible. Press Command or Control A to select everything. Then you can go ahead up here, make sure you're on this Shape Format tab. And then you can go ahead up here and then just select any type of text that you like. And then of course you can go to the Home tab and then you can use the increase or decrease font size and increase or decrease the size of your font. Then all you do is just simply move your text on top of your image. The second way is to go up to the insert tab, go along to text box, click on the drop down, click draw text box, click and drag Type your text, and then again you can go ahead and edit that text by clicking Control or Command A. Then go up and then just increase your font size. Then you can go ahead and choose the font of your choice. Then you can also center this text as well, so it looks like this. You go along to this center text icon here and then you can just reduce the size of your text box. Now what you'll notice is as I drag this text box over, text boxes have a black border and a white background. That's really easy to get rid of. Click on the text box, go up to shape format, click on this icon here shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill go up to this little icon here, click on the drop down and select no outline. Now if for any reason this text box disappears or won't go over the top of your image then again just go up to wrap text and just ensure that that's in front of text. The third way to write on an image is to go up to the draw icon then select a pen of your choice from one of these options when you click on it, you can go ahead and select from the different colours and you can also select the different nib sizes here. 
then all you do is just simply take your mouse and write your text. So once you're happy, you can make the, both the text and the image one complete image. So if I click on the text box, then I hold the command or control key down and click on the image. You can see that I've highlighted both the image and the text. Go up to shape format, then go along to this icon here that says group, click on the drop down and click group. Now my text and my image are one image. In the same way you can do it with your word art, hold the command or control key down, go up to group, select group and again your image is selected and again with your free hand if you just click on the text it will highlight like this, command or control, click on the image, go back up to shape format, go along to group and once again you can group them and your image will be one complete element. Don't worry if you've made a mistake on any of these then just simply click on your image, go up to shape format, go along to the group icon, click on the drop down and just simply click ungroup. Then you can go back inside here and just edit any of the text that you wish. Then go back up to the group and just click group again and then again you'll have one complete element. So there you have it, three ways to put text or write on an image. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.